Welcome Aquarius. This is Renee and welcome back. This is the next 48 hours. This is your next 48 hour reading. This is what you can expect, what's coming forward, what's going on with you in the next 48 hours. And uh, Aquarius, I went ahead and drew the cards to save time um, so that the video wouldn't run so long. Okay, so let's take a look and see what's going on with Aquarius the next 48 hours. We have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay, so for some of you, this is new love coming through. Okay, there may be someone new coming into your life or someone new may have just came into your life. Okay, uh, but I feel like whatever this is, is growing very rapidly. Okay, this is moving kind of fast. You, this may be something that you've been waiting for for a while. Maybe you've been communicating back and forth with this person. And now you're going to travel. You know, you're going to travel to see this person or they're traveling to see you. But this is, this is growth, expansion. You know, seeing the world together. Right? And I feel like this is something that's very stable. It's nurturing. You feel like this is something good, like this is something that you're protecting. Maybe you've been kind of keeping this person secret until you kind of knew where it was going. You know, it, it feels like it's growing in the right direction. So now it's safe for you to take that leap of faith, that plunge, you know, and go on this journey together. Take this new beginning as it comes, right? We also have the Magician. And something that you don't expect. So I feel like whatever this is that you're creating, it's actually meant to be. This is something that you may have been maybe manifesting, really putting out those intentions. And this is something that's being created. Okay? This is something that is a um, collaboration. You know, you're teaming up with someone. You're, you're really creating things. This is something that is may be happening very quickly, you know. Um, it's change. It's something that you're kind of getting used to, okay, with this tower. And we also have in the middle energy, we have regeneration and yin. So definitely the number 46 may be very significant for you um, or the number 10, then and it reduces down to one right so the number one and the number two may be very significant they, they could be the yin to your yang you know feeling regenerized something growing okay because right underneath this regeneration we have the judgment card so definitely this is finding a new purpose you know having that wake up call or making that final decision or moving out of your comfort zone into something totally different, right? You're expanding, you're developing something new. And whatever this is, Aquarius, it's bringing you a lot of joy and happiness, you know, abundance. And I feel like there's one opportunity that and I feel like you may have thought that you missed this opportunity at one point, but you didn't. This opportunity was waiting for you. Okay? It was waiting for you. You're going from the full to the four of cups to the three of cups. Right? So you're definitely um, meditating, thinking about things. You're expanding. And you're also developing this new connection. You know, this new connection was meant to be. That could be this new love that's coming through. Okay? So, Aquarius. We have gentleness. Okay? Archangel Sandalphon. Be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. Okay? So, be careful about your intentions. Speak kind things to yourself and others. Okay, especially if you're in the energy of manifesting something. You want to be careful about the things that you're manifesting. Now, I do see that there is a new beginning here. This may be a new job that you're traveling for or new money. 
but I feel like there's a lot of abundance here. You're going from the Ace of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles to the Three of Cups, right? So this connection is bringing you a lot of wealth and abundance as well as new beginnings, okay? So whatever this connection is, I feel like if you're networking, this is going to lead to a great opportunity, okay? This may be a new job, new promotion. Uh, you could be traveling for a new job, but I feel like it's abundant. There's, there's new money here, okay? Something is coming through that is going to make you very happy, okay? So let's go ahead and clarify these cards for Aquarius. Let's get some more clarity. Tell me about this Three of Wands energy. Spirit, give me a message for the Three of Wands. Okay, for the Three of Wands, we have the Two of Swords. So I feel like there's a lot of decisions that you're making. And I feel like not, not all of these decisions are going to be hard decisions, but there are going to be some decisions that are difficult for you to make. Okay? Um, but there are decisions ahead. With the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Wands. So I feel like this stability... Whatever this Queen of Wands energy is, this could be that new love coming through. This could be coming through to you very quickly. You know, the Eight of Wands and the Three of Wands, these are all cards of movement. All cards of travel. And it's fast travel, okay? Um, so I feel like this may be you traveling to see someone, okay? Or this situation could be moving at a fast pace, at a very... Uh, growing pace. This could also be communication back and forth between you and this new love. Okay, give me a message for the fool. Give me a message for the fool, please. The three of swords. Now, if you look at this three of swords, Aquarius, this three of swords, the swords have fallen away from the heart. So, this heart is no longer punctured or in pain. This heart is actually bandaged and healed. So I feel like the situation that you're in, I feel like you're going through this healing phase. This is a new leap of faith for you. You may have went through things in the past that has led to heartbreak, but I feel like after that heartbreak, it may have been hard for you to take that plunge again, you know, take that leap of faith and have that renewed spirit in love but I feel like that's what you're doing. I feel like you're still, even though the things that you've been through in the past, it's not stopping you from this new journey. Okay? So tell me about the judgment card. Give me a message for the judgment card, spirit. The five of wands. The five of wands. I feel like you're actually seeing this moving out of your comfort zone as a challenge. Okay? You may be seeing it as something that's really hard for you to do because I feel like there's this choice that you're making and then you have this, this judgment call, this finding your purpose here, finding a new purpose. And you have this challenge. So I, I really feel like it's very hard for you to pursue. Okay? It, it was maybe hard for you to move on from your situation. But I feel like it's something that you're doing. Tell me about this sun card in the middle. I love this sun for the middle energy. The Queen of Pentacles, stability, nurturing, pulling your resources together, you know? I feel like you've got more resources and you, you're gaining more happiness. You know, she's coming into a harvest and she's really looking and admiring what, what it is she created right? And I feel like that's kind of what you're doing. You're like standing back and admiring yourself for these challenges that you're overcoming. Okay, so it's it's building up your confidence, your self-esteem. You know, you finally feel like you can make it. OK, 
okay? Tell me about this Four of Cups energy for Aquarius. The King of Wands. Look at this. We got the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Wands here. Yeah, I feel like you thought that you missed this opportunity with this King of Wands energy. You missed the opportunity to take action on something that could have been so beautiful, so powerful, okay? But I feel like what this missed opportunity turns into is like a call of action, finding your power after this heartbreak, you know? You're finding the power within yourself to move forward and take action. So I'm really, I'm really liking this for you. You're being bold. You go, Aquarius. You're adapting to your situation, you know? Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups. Yeah, this new beginning is going to be nice. This new beginning is going to bring you a lot of happiness and abundance. This, I, I feel like if this is a job, this is a job that you're really going to love. A career, this is going to bring you a lot of enjoyment, you know. Um, give me a message for this Ten of Pentacles, please. Message for the Ten of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords. Yeah, you're taking the money and you're running. You're like, okay, these are the lessons that I've learned. Now, I'm walking away from all that past energy. I'm walking away from whatever don't serve me anymore. And I'm leaving that trap to itself, right? And I'm walking away with my pinnacles. You know? I, f I feel like that's what you're doing. You're walking away from that past life. And you're walking into something more permanent. Okay? Uh, tell me about this Three of Cups energy. The Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this is balance. This is feeling generous. You know, getting the help that you need. That equal give and take. You know, you're, you're feeling that balance, Aquarius. So this is beautiful energy. Look what we've got on the bottom. A new cycle. The world card. So you're entering a new cycle after leaving an old one, you know? So I'm really liking this for you, Aquarius. Give me an outcome for Aquarius. Give me an outcome. The King of Cups, new love, there he is. We have the Nine of Swords. And the Magician. Beautiful. We have the Magician twice. Did you notice? Okay. With this energy, Aquarius, I feel like this new love that's coming in, this king is pouring out his emotions to you. Right? Or this is your energy pouring out your emotions. But there's still demons that you're battling. But you're in this creating. You're not afraid anymore. You know? You're not afraid to make those hard choices. If you, if anything, you feel more inspired to take action. You know, you have the willpower to move forward. Okay, you're not letting that fear, worry, or doubt hold you back. Because, look, that fear, worry, and doubt is being overcome by this King of Cups and by this Magician. You have love and you have the willpower to go on, to create. Okay? So, beautiful. Okay, let's get some angel cards for Aquarius. Let's get some angel cards. See what's going on for Aquarius. Message for Aquarius, please, next 48 hours. Okay, oh, okay. So we have sacred self. Unleash your spirit, express your gifts, and dance to the sacred rhythm of life. 
And I feel like th what this card means right now for you, Aquarius, is to don't be afraid to take chances. Don't be afraid to take chances to live your life to the fullest, right? And don't hold back. We also have intervention and purpose. So divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose, okay? You may not have even known that, Aquarius, but I feel like, yeah, we have this purpose right here, right on this judgment card, okay? So you're finding a new purpose, you know, and, and I, I feel like this is your higher power letting you know you can get through any challenge, Aquarius, don't be afraid. Don't let your doubt stop you, okay? We also have soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connections between all things. So look at this. We have the soul expansion and the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups, this could be con your connections. The things that you are connecting to, right? You're expanding. You're growing in this situation, this is right where you were meant to be, okay? So if, if, you, if you kind of feel like this is right where you need to be, Aquarius, you're right. You know, Spirit has led you to this place at this time, okay? So let's get at some monology cards for Aquarius. Let's get a message for Aquarius, please. We have, you're very close to achieving your goal, the Gibeous Moon, okay. And we have a win-win outcome is in the forecast, full moon in Libra, okay. So you may be connecting to a Libra. You may be connecting to a fire sign. You know, there's swords here, there's cups. And we have all the signs here, you know. Um, but I feel like, Whatever the situation is, it's going to lead you into a lot of happiness. You know, it's, it's beautiful energy. You have the sun in the middle of your reading, okay, along with the Ten of Cups. So you're going to be happy regardless, right? So let's get an angel number for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know at this time? Give me a message for Aquarius. Message for Aquarius, please. Okay, 1313, clarity. Okay, as the storm passes, the clarity is felt faster than lightning is seen against a dark sky. The divine is reminding you that clarity is readily available. All you have to do is ask. You have weathered the storm. Now the sky is clearing. Okay, so the storm has passed you by. Now all you have is the bright sky. Okay, that bright, beautiful sky ahead. So I feel like there's a lot of happiness for you. Your affirmation, Aquarius. Loving energy surrounds me and I trust that the clarity I feel is the answer I need. Okay, so beautiful. So Aquarius. I hope this reading helps. Um, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate with you at this time, of course, take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating with you more. And until your next reading, Aquarius, many blessings to you. Love and light.